tell you where the fish are. Triple, triple. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. Bam. Come on. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Bacon, cream, and cheese. Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Potsky Outdoors. Today we're doing something a little different. We're in Virginia, we're on the Chickahominy River. We're going after ring perch and crappie. It's late winter, almost early spring. The weather's been a little wacky. As you can see, I'm out here in a t-shirt today. We're expecting about 80 degrees. And we're gonna throw some red and chartreuse fire dye minnows at them and see if we can fire up some of these bigger fish. Let's see how we do. First nice slab crappie of the day. We're just getting started. Just uh, doing some slip bobbers and minnows and drop shot some minnows as well. So they get them in the live and hit some more. What we're doing today is we're fishing jumbo perch and crappies and we're fishing them with fire dyed minnows. So we're using a couple different methods. We're doing some drop shotting and uh, we're using a slip bobber. So what I have here, I have my drop shot rig. I'm just gonna hook this minnow just right through the lips, just barely inside the lips so he stays nice and alive. And uh, so uh, what I have here is about a quarter ounce weight and I have it about six inches below the hook. So I just drop the, drop the weight down so it just rests on the bottom and the middle is gonna be about six inches above the weight. And uh, just, so I'm just gonna let him down and drop it so it just rests on the bottom and then your minnow you know your minnow is going to be about six inches off and that's the best zone for the perch um then we're also fishing some slip bobbers I'll show you guys this one real quick we're fishing some slip bobbers for the crappie because they seem to be more suspended more times than that and uh we're setting them anywhere from you know 10 to 15 foot and we're in about 20 20 foot of water or so so we want about five foot off the bottom or so and uh yeah, I just have a slip bobber. You know, I have enough weight on there so that uh, so that floats just barely above the water where I can see it. So there's not much resistance when the fish bites it. You know, for the bobber to go down. I'm just gonna grab another one here, rinse them off from the water, <laughs> and same deal as the last one. Just gonna hook him right through the lips, just barely inside the lips, so he stays nice and alive. And that's all there is to it. He's clearly alive. Bouncing all over the place. Another nice ring perch. Look at how fat she is. Coming up here to spawn late February on the Chickahominy River. All right, we're out here today. It's late February. It's an extremely warm February day. Really unusual, but uh, we'll take it while we got it. Uh, we're out here on the Chickahominy River. Uh, we started out this morning trying to catch some uh, ring perch and uh, crappie. Started out really slow when we were just using the natural minnows. Um, we put some in the fire dye, some blue, red, and chartreuse on the soak and once the dye took set, took a hold, uh, we uh, started using the fire dye minnows and the bite was on. Crappy here easily get up to two pounds, um, but you'll catch a lot between one and two pounds out here. Um, ring perch, 14, 15 inches are some really big ones. Um, early February, this time of year, every year you have a, uh, a ring perch run where they come up the river to spawn 
and they get hung up here at the dam. So if you can look around and see boats in our background, that's why everybody's here, because the, the fish come up to spawn and they, they get bottlenecked up here at the dam. Uh, Lee perch are extremely good eating fish. So, uh, a lot like crappie, real light meat, and light fishy taste, just delicious. Fire dye up some live minnows here. We're gonna do a couple different colors. We're gonna do red and we're gonna do chartreuse. We're gonna put about, you know, two thirds of the bottle of red in there. And uh, the important thing is just to make sure you have aerators on them and follow the directions, you know, about how much, you know, the ratio of water. That way, uh, your minnows, minnows are the best quality possible. We got a double. Big ring perch. Brian, take your time for a second. There's one ring perch. A monster. A and here we go. Oh. A little crappie. We got an eater. There you go. Mess. Oh, he's going into the fire die. <laughs> Catching some jumbos. That's the average size. We've been catching them up to about 15 inches or so. Some real nice perch. Is it another perch? Well, that's something. Got a little more weight to it. it is crappy. Nice crappy. Hell yeah. Yeah, boy. That thing was way over there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's a nice one. The Perch King pulls in a crappy. <laughs> got a few crappies. Mostly big jumbo perch, but they will take them all. Great eating fish. That's like real good. Oh, yeah. Oh, son. Now there that's we go. Up, Kyle. Look at this on the chartreuse minute. He just spit it out. Salab. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Got one. It feels like a nice one too. It was suspended on the bobber, so I'm assuming it's a crappie. Oh yeah, nice one. <laughs> oh! We reeled that up too close. That was a big one. Hey, we got a nit laying on that thing. That was the biggest crappie of the day. Dude.